In this video, we're going to focus on how we can use the getPixel for value but applied on a date. This has a slightly different approach compared to a string or an int integer. So let's start to look how we can do this. So let's start to look how to use the getPixel for value with date and time in Chart.js. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get our boiler template, which you can find in Chart.js3.com getting started. This specific link you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, copy this chunk of code. Copy all of this. If you want to understand all of this code, please watch this video here. So what I will do is paste that in there, cut out this, and put that in here, save, refresh. There we are. Let's maximize the size of this. So we're going to say here, uh, 80%, save, and refresh. So next, what we need is we need to go to chart.js.org, this specific link here, because what we need is basically the time adapter or the date and time adapter so it can read the dates in our chart. So I'm going to click here on ecosystem. Once you're on here, scroll down, click here on adapters, and I'm going to grab this one here. I'm going to re recommend you this one or these, or at least these two. This has been deprecated, so don't use this at all. So I'm using this one because this only requires one JavaScript file, which is fine for me. So I'm going to click on that one and then go down here and then look for the link. That's This is this. That's the one. You can see here as well is the date adapter or the adapter date FNS bundle minimize file. So copy all of that. Then what we're going to do is scroll down here. After the JavaScript library, you want to load the adapter because the adapter has some built-in JavaScript or chart.js library uh, objects that needs to be loaded in here first. So this, this needs to be loaded and then we have this here. So once we have this, we can save this, but of course nothing ha happens yet. What we're going to do is we're going to change the X scale. So say X here, comma, and then what we're going to do here is we're going to say here, uh, time, uh, not time, but the type. And the type will be equal to time. Once we did that, I want to say here the time because then we can allow the time object and then we can say here for example the unit and the unit will be equal to date so we have a daily value being shown so if I save this refresh we get now a blank chart why because this here is not being recognized as a date object or basically as a date so what we're going to do here let's say here 2022 this is the year the month so 09 and then we're going to say yeah, one and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to put in here a few items and I guess four or three items should be more than enough let's do only three that's fine so we don't have to spend too much time on that and then I'm going to say here this will not be 10 but this will be 11 oh sorry that will be 10 and this one will be 11 so if I save this refresh what will happen is it will expand its structuring here or at least the scale will cover basically these three specific items. You can see here, it shows nicely the items here. All right, so what I want to do next is start to draw something. So for example, if I want to draw a line on this 13 September here, I should have a line here. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we're going to create a plugin, comma here. Let's say, yeah, plugins, and I'm going to get object here or sorry, array, and then this name would be, let's say the time position. That's the one we're trying to figure out. I'm going to grab this, say here, uh, slash slash this uh, plugin block, constant that equals this, ID will be the time position. And then we're going to say here, after the data sets has been drawn, after data sets, we will draw these the lines that we will eventually grab based on whatever the position of that date is or based on the date. So we're going to say here, chart arcs plugin options. And then what I want to do here is I want to do here a constant because I'm going to use here object destructuring. So if you don't understand object destructuring, in the description box, I have a video understanding chart yes, object destructuring. Very useful. I will not explain it here. So say CTX, and then we can say here what more. I guess we can get the data maybe. Next, we're going to say here the chart area. I want to draw the lines. Top and bottom would be sufficient. Again, if you don't understand what the chart area is, very useful thing to know. Also in the description box, understanding chart area for chart.js. Next, the scales. 
and we say your x and y that should be more than sufficient for us all right so i say ctx.save to save all variables above and then we can start to draw so to draw here what i want to do is i want to draw a line basically from the top to bottom here and grabbing a specific date all right so how do we do this so what we're going to do here is first of all we're going to say here ctx.stroke style to give the line a proper color and i'll make this gray and i use the british gray with the a for alpha next what i want to do is i want to have a ctx.line width so i have a nice thick line of three pixels and once we did that we can start to draw so i'm going to say ctx.move to and basically this allows us to to start drawing the line but this is the starting point just imagine like you have a pencil and you want to put it on on a specific place or coordinates on a piece of paper that's basically what we're doing here so oh sorry i don't want to do that but imagine i want to have it somewhere here let's say we want to grab here um 12 september that's a nice uh, date here exactly on this line here and i want to have a nice thick gray line being shown on this so how do we do this so i have the move to and then what i want to do here is the x and y value so the y value will be well the first one will be on the top that will be this position here and later on we have one another one on the bottom because this is the chart area so say it's top but what about this one here so what i want to do here is i say x get and the reason why i'm allowed to use x here is because of the x item here the skill that's a shorthand let's say yeah, get pixel for value and then i'm going to put in well let's do this one first i want to grab this here i'm going to grab this one here or it was 12. well anyway let's grab one of these first 10 so that's october the first so how do we get that specific date remember we have the data here and if i go from data that's this here data dot labels and then index number one so what i'm going to do here is i guess we can just do that one constant date will be data dot labels index uh, number one so to make sure that you can understand what i'm doing here and to see this sorry so what I want to do here is then the console log and just show this date in here save this refresh open up console log you can see here we get the date so that's important what is important to understand that this is basically string value that means that it will not recognize here but anyway let's try and explore that so that's the reason why I want to show you this so I'm going to grab this put that in here of course this will not work yet because i need to have another line i say here line to where the line will end or stop or, con or goes towards so i'm going to say here this will be from bottom so basically from top to bottom on i guess in this case it will be on october 1. so then so and then what i want to do because basically what this does is we say here top to bottom from up to down and then what I want to do here, enter and I'm going to say ctx.stroke to draw the line. That's the final command. If I save this, refresh, it does not appear. And the reason why, of course, is because this value here is probably not a value at all that it recognizes. Let's save that, refresh, open up console log. We see here none, not a number. That's the value of it. So that will mean that why is this not a number? Because this is a string value. So let's start to convert this into a date object because basically what we want is a date object and that is being automatically converted in ChartJS through this specific date adapter. However, if you're in a canvas, we don't have that luxury. So what we're going to do is basically two options. Or we convert it here into a date object or we convert it here at the bottom in a date object. So it's one or the other. In this case, I'm just going to convert this one here. So I'm going to say here, this date will be new date, basically making a new date object here and put in this value there. So once we do this, if I save this, refresh, now we get a pixel and you can see it will work nicely. But look at this, not really in the center and especially you will notice this the moment I do a line. If I save that, refresh, and you can see here, it just doesn't hit the right value here. And this even becomes gray. What I want to do here, let's do that one as well. 
12 and say ctx dot restore restore that so once we save the restore you should see here now if we, at least if you hover oh apparently it just doesn't work oh did i save this no let's save it one more time refresh all right interesting um i, I have no idea what it is but anyway i'll just leave it for now doesn't matter so much for now what i want to do here is at least to focus and i can see that it's here triggering as well uh, let's focus on this here first and what we're going to do now is focusing how we can put it in the center here so let's move that in the center so i guess i already figured out what the issue is but i'll cover it later on so what i want to do here first of all you might notice this here because i'm distracted by this color here but it should be focused on this i want this to be positioned exactly here because look at this there is a certain amount of time between here and how much time it is well basically if we look at our console log we should get maybe an answer if i do this save refresh there you are you can see here we get a gmt or greenwich mean time plus eight which is where i am currently located so as you can see here we get here plus eight hours difference and what i want to i want to reset this and you can reset it to any time you want and i'm going to reset this just back to gmt zero so how we do that well we have here this date object which will grab the local time in my time zone and now i want to reset it to the default so i'm going to say here get oh sorry not get set hours and then we're going to say here zero hours zero minutes zero seconds and finally zero milliseconds so i'm going to reset it back to zero and if i save this now and then i refresh you can see here now we get the exact number in milliseconds but also it's in a perfect center all right so now we have that final thing this is a real eyesore for me is to fix our line here so what i'm going to do here is i thought the restore should work but apparently not completely so i'm going to say here ctx dot begin path save refresh and now the colors if you hover over it will not change anymore all right so that's at least one of the things that we had to solve so this is basically it so let's try something more then. because you have this here but maybe you don't want like this you want to just this to be already prepared in advance so how do we do that well basically we're just going to grab here all of this i can just grab this one here now we can just put that in here and remember that was online so i'm going to remove all of this and i'm going to say here 2022 0901 and that's it and what we could do for the others exactly the same so we are just forcing that this will be already a time object by default so that even though if we will convert it it should be no problem at all because you can see here the chart is still dry drawing the lines and uh, all no problem and if I scroll down now, let's go here. What we could do now is instead of this, we can just remove this because now everything is up and running. So if I save this, refresh, you can see here this works. And if I change this to number two, we should hit now the side here. There we are. And if I do number one, zero, we get this also in here. So these are the two options what you can do. Which one you should choose, it's up to you. If you already have a lot of these things and you don't do too much adjustment i would say just put it in here that's fine as well but you can do it in here as well but this is just a longer amount of code here so it's up to you what you prefer so oh, so it should be no problem in both ways so if you enjoy this video maybe another video that will be also very useful is understanding then how to filter dates in chart.js and you can see here we have a starting date and an ending date and it will filter the chart nicely.